the grade four math practice test for T and ready. On this version of the test, it's question number 16. Joey is making cookies. The recipe calls for two thirds of a cup of sugar for each batch of cookies. How many cups of sugar does he need for five batches of cookies? So there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. If we have five batches of cookies, I'm just gonna make little lines to indicate those. And since we're going to need two-thirds for each one, we're just going to add those numbers together because we're trying to find the total amount. So two-thirds plus two-thirds. The nice thing about these fractions is they have the same denominator. They're all thirds, right? So we just keep that denominator, and then we are going to add the numerators. One, two, or sorry, 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 2 more is 6, plus 2 more is 8, plus 2 more is 10, and I end up with 10 thirds. So there's my answer to number 16. That's actually not a very difficult question. Um, what else could you do? Well, this is a lot of adding. The operation that exists specifically to avoid a lot of adding is multiplication. That way, say it was 2 thirds times 100. You don't want to add 2 thirds 100 times. That is m the way madness begins. So. I'll start with 2 thirds, and then I need to multiply it by 5. Now, I left a little spot there. What's the deal? I need to convert that into a fraction in order to do an appropriate multiplication. Any number that's a whole number, so 5 million 13, as a fraction, is that number over 1, because 5 divided by 1 will get you right back to 5. If it was a million, that's a million, so that's a million as a fraction, because a million divided by one gives you da, 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 a million. So just be aware that that is a thing. Um, a lot of people will say, well, what's a fraction for five? And they'll say one-fifth. Well, that makes no sense. Any number, whole number, um, as a fraction is its number, is itself over one. So when we do multiplication of fractions, the system that we use or the procedure is multiply numerator over multiply denominator. We don't have to have a common denominator when doing multiplying, that's kind of nice. So you do two times five, and five times two is of course 10, and then you do three times one, and you get 10 thirds, and that's my answer. So you can do, in this case, a, lot of, a little lot of adding. So do the setup where you have your one, two, three, four, five, and you write your two thirds. Just remember when you're adding fractions, you keep the denominator, and you add the numerators, or you can do multiplication where you do multiply numerator over multiply denominator. We used to call it multiply tops over multiply bottoms, but you know what I mean. So multiply the, denum the <laughs> numerator over multiply the denominator, or you have the choice if you're doing adding, keep the denominator, add the numerators, and subtraction would work the same way.